but what oh, you might be saying. And I'll respond with, but what? And you'll respond with, the quests. What quest, I ask? I've done all of them. What are you talking about? I made a video on this. It got very popular. What are you talking about? I want an next one. I want more. I want the secrets. I'll give you the secrets. I'll tell you them all. This is right. There are three other quests, quote unquote quests, that I could find. And you might find them interesting. I'm not going through all these. If you really want to see these, just get the 20 likes and I'll do all of them. Thanks for putting me through hell. Yay. Okay. So, first quest I can do. Um, there's really only one I can actually do. And that's uh, bring this ball to the end. Because, uh, yeah. Why, why not? How do I complete this quest, you might be saying? How do I do this? Well, I have a little plan. If you want to do it the gamer way, um, the gamer way is just do this. Guys, do you see that? This is the gamer way. Okay, so basically what you got to do is just get another account. Um, I'm on my phone right now, so yeah, fun. We're going to get him to join my team because... Look at that, Waddle 27 wants to join your team. Whoa, he's right here. How is he ever going to get to me? Oh my gosh, I have no idea where I'm going. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Okay, so we have our friend named Waddle 1877, which is me. I know, surprising. So we're going to load up the quest. Actually, no. We're going we're gonna to load up the quest on my other thing. Because I, I, I really desperately need this quest. Hacking. Okay, so we have the quest started up. And the easiest way to do this is just to, um, guys, I know it's going to be insane, but you have to build something. Okay, look, I know it's insane, but look at that. Oh my gosh, guys. And then you just reset. Now, the reason why this is not failing is because... I, on the other phone, am right here, um, waiting for the ball to keep going. Now, since I reset, my phone can keep going. Now, all I need to do to get it to go is just place some blocks there. Like, remember the last time? Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Look at it go. Boom. And it has a ton of durability. I think it has infinite durability. durability. So, no need to worry it'll keep going. But Watto, I don't have all the time in the world. Oh, of course you don't. You're Mr. I have no time. And that's how, this is how I'm going to fix this problem. It's, it's a little bit of fairy dust. No, I'm kidding. But all I have to do is get into, get into your flying machine. Mine's just really decorated. It could be as easy as this, this, this little, little jet. Boom, boom, boom. Boom! See that, guys? I just shot that thing flying. Um, that thing is going flying. The little bonus to it is you have to have like a little bit of little bit of protection, so as it doesn't like. <sighs> it's infuriating to actually get it to work, though. The only reason we do this is just to make sure it goes to the end. You can just throw it off your plot without the second player. I'm just doing this because it's slightly easier. You do it faster. Look at it going. Look at how fast this is going. Super fast. Break it before he gets to it. <gasps> no! Wrong way! So glad that this has come to an end and I don't have to Yes, ball, ball. We're going on at this together. No. Not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do. No.
It's like some action scene in a movie. Where'd the ball go? Where'd the ball? Ooh, ball's here. Get out of my ball's way. I want good balls. Come on, come on. And as you can see, finally, okay, as you can see, it is going to roll onto shore and disappear. Not until I actually editing this and I realized what you actually had to do. You have to not only get it onto the shore, you have to also make it touch the chest. You'll see in these clips that I actually get it really close to touching the chest, but I never figure out, hey, this ball needs to go to the chest. So, um, have fun watching me mess this up. I'm coming through the portal with my other guy. Let's see if that helps. Do I have to make it touch it? Why did my... No, wrong way. I have my thing staying there. For some reason, it just doesn't want to work. Okay, you know what? Take my word for it, it's worked before. For some reason, it's not working now. But that's a way to get it to the, the, there. Now, I looked outside today, and I didn't see any snow. So that probably means there is no winter update today. But I do have footage from other times when it was. So I'm going to be showing you the two winter quests that um, I already have footage for. Some may be from other YouTubers, some may be just from me. Some may be random footage, um, but it's not from right now. I can't get it right now. This is just so you know they exist. Uh, I hope you're not going to rip me apart, but that's just all I got. Last Christmas, we went into a different quest menu with a gift battle and a winter course. For now, we'll be checking out the winter course because that's a new one. It says, leave this world and enter a new one with a limited time, new winter new course, leave a holiday gift. The quest is repeatable, which means you can do it over and over again, yada, yada, yada. So let's go play this. This multiple quest is, you know, winter quest is in here. As you see, it looks spectacular. I am not lying. This is amazing looking. It's basically teleports you to this place. And um, it has an entire, it has a huge build plot. But you gotta do something. I don't know entirely. But it looks bigger than before. I guess we can go now. And I say we go. The problem with this quest is not the length, it's the girth. I, I mean, it's how strong you make your boat. If your boat is very weak, then it'll most likely fail. But if you make a very strong boat, it'll get farther. So make a strong boat, not a fast, weaker boat. It, trust me, it's better to wait than it is to like go very fast. We won't make it to the end. Okay, now I have to make sure we get out of this safely. Oh, you gotta go up here. Let's go up here. Up here. Yes! We got it. Yes, please. Let this be it. I don't want to go again. Okay. Yes! Finally. To just get this one present. Yes! And 169 gold. Oh my gosh. GG. Everyone gets a gift from this. Jeez, that was hard. Now that that one's over, I can finally show you the next one, which is the Halloween stage. Uh, the Halloween quest, but I say stage, I'm dumb. So for this one, you have to find, uh, I don't know how many torches it is, but it's a couple amount of torches. Um, and once you find all of them, it'll summon a boss battle. Um, this was really fun to actually do at the time. Um, but also really stressful at the same time. So this was, I think, two Halloweens ago, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, two Halloweens ago. So yeah, it's always fun. And to begin this, you need to go on Black Team and pick a special um, rond on one of the 
trees and you flick it and then you break a glass ball inside and it'll start to appear. Put that on. Now, you're going to want to have uh, speed build on so you can do this all quickly and you're going to want to load in your best boat uh, which is mine, the last hope. Okay, and then we're going to go in here and hopefully hide. Okay, so he will appear in places and you have to avoid his hits or else he'll take a lot of damage like I showed you. Right there. So you gotta hit him um, or else he'll hit you back. I recommend hiding yourself if you don't feel like a, if you don't have a big thing like that. So hiding yourself is as simple as like this. Look, it's just that. Box yourself in. Voila. You're done. That's all you have to do. Um, now, uh, this is probably one of the fastest ways to do it because you're most protected. Um, oh, finally. Okay, guys. So this is what happens when you defeat the boss. Um, now, you'll notice uh, that the sun will start rising, which will indicate that the boss is dead. He will start burn. <gasps> No. Um, he'll start burning, and you will have one. Okay? So, you will have to go inside this room, and in there is a chest. Um, and in this chest, you can find some cool items. You'll get the uh, one small candy sometimes. You may get um, one of those. And you may get, uh, like this, sand. And the rocket thing. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. Now you're probably wondering about the que the Halloween quest from this year. It's basically the same thing, but you get taken back farther and you get turned into a pumpkin if you die and you use guns. It's basically the same thing, but completely different. Um, you'll understand it. The concept is nearly the same. And you can do it with multiple people, so it's not that hard. So this is the 2020 Easter egg hunt. Um, now what you got to do to activate it is um, put all the eggs into the little dispensers here to get to fight the king egg. Last year you do a similar thing to fight an egg that flies around. Um, but this year I'm doing the 2021 because the 2019 one is kind of hard to find. Um, so the footage here was taken by Game Logics because I couldn't find any of me actually doing it for some reason, but I could have sworn I did it. Who cares? This is perfectly good too. Um, so thank you, Game Logics, for all this stuff. Links to people who I used are going to be in the description, so you can find their channels. Okay, so as you can see, you get two eggs, and um, two cookies, and two um, other cookies, a seat, and so that's pretty much it for when you defeat the boss. Um, so yeah, this was his video on it. Uh, check him out, pretty cool. Also check Jesse TC out. They also had video clips in this. So yeah, um, that's what you get if you defeat him. Video. I hope you guys sure do like it. I'm going to show you the best way to get the 
um, the thing, the thingy that, like, yeah, the big present for uh, the new quests, um, the gift battle one. Um, so I'm going to show you the best way for this one. So the reason I chose these ways is because they are functional, they're easy to use, and quite easy to build. Um, you just need a lot of materials and a lot of patience to make it. So I already have one made, and I'm not going to make it again, because like I said, it takes a lot of patience. So basically, um, what you want to go to, that was not proper English. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have, um, obviously, you're going to want to have a, uh, whatchamacallit, a, a jetpack. Because without a jetpack, it'd be hard to move around. You see, I already completed this quest. Um, you, did, you do get a purple present for it, which is pretty cool. Um, so, uh, just set up a big wall over there. Put a couple portals around to get to escape places and um, start farming as you go closer to it. So to activate it, you just get, you need to go there and ow. And it just goes like that. Shoot them. Pretty good. So yeah. Um, I actually didn't make this edit on this one. So what you're going to do to this is um, you're going to move it back. So it's just one block because that's mighty easier than a whole thing. Then you can just farm from here. Um, this was going to be a full video on stuff to do, all this stuff. But no, I've done this recording over three times and I just wanted to get it done. He's got to die sometime. Okay, there we go. I thought so. Okay. As you see, this guy is descending. And um, the present's getting lower. Now you can see the inside. Now we'll make it all fancy. Right? Look, all happy, right? It's all happy and clean and family friendly. Wrong. There's one right there. I do not want to see your family. Near me any time again, you scared it's half to death. Can I hit him? <laughs> he just died. Okay, so you get forty presents, one hundred fifty gold, and one purple present and ten red presents. Um, not a purple present because I'm stupid. I meant the blue present. I thought purple present came from here. Uh, anyway, this is what they look up, like, um, next to each other. So, pretty. Do have to say. Now, let's look at the boss fight that you get when you go into the gear one. So, when you go into the gear one, there'll be a piano, and you have to type in this code that I'll show on screen into it, and then you'll get a seek, you'll go to the door, and then we get to fight Fabi again.
And that's pretty much it. That's how you defeat the final secret boss in Build a Book of Treasure. Now, yes, there are some different instances where there's small secret chest updates. I, you get it. But this is pretty much it for the ones I am covering. If you want to see the uh, all the chests get this 20 likes, I doubt that it'll get there. But you know what? Money nightmares can come true sometimes. So yeah, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, family, other people you know. Have a magical day. Here's the old outro. And then I'm going to say, bye.